No, I didn't. No, uh, no, I... I'm Lou. <laughs> Will. Hello, Louisa Clark. I'm Will Trainer. The story begins with a rich boy named William. William is a successful banker and an active sportsman. He also has a girlfriend named Alicia, whom he loves very much. One day, William is leaving his office when suddenly a car comes in front of him, and he is hit hard. In this accident, William's lower body stops working. After this accident, William suffers a mental breakdown and sits in a wheelchair in his room all the time. And his personal trainer, Nathan, takes great care of him. Next, we see a girl named Louisa. Louisa works in a bakery shop. She is a bit mischievous and mature girl, but due to her mischief, her boss fires her from the job. After losing her job, Louisa becomes very upset as she was the breadwinner. He had a father, but he did not do any work. Louisa talks to her boyfriend Patrick about a job, and Patrick advises her to go to the job center, saying that she will definitely find a job. Louisa goes to the job center with this hope, but there she needs skills, which Louisa did not have, so she doesn't get any job, and becomes dejected. Then a person tells Louisa about a job in which she had to work as a caretaker and would also get a good salary for it. Hearing this, Louisa immediately says yes to this job. The next day, Louisa goes to the interview well-dressed. When she moves in, she is very happy to see the big house and the wonderful outdoor view. Then a woman named Camelia comes to Louisa and takes her inside. The question-answer session between the two had just begun when Louisa's no, I... skirt gets torn and the interview also turns out to be nothing special. Therefore, Louisa was also sure that she would not get this job. But Camelia likes Louisa's cheerful nature, and she gives her the job. Louisa asks, where is your sick husband? Camelia says, you have to take care of my son, not my husband. His lower half was paralyzed in an accident a few years ago. After this, we see that Louisa is going to take care of no one but William. Everyone at home is very happy to hear about Louisa's job, and from the next day, Louisa starts her work. Louisa tries hard to talk to William, but William ignores her. Every day, Louisa tries to talk to William with a smiling face, but William ignores her every time. William was completely broken from inside, where before he loved adventure, now he was reduced to just a corpse. That's why he was often in a bad mood. Fed up with William's bad behavior, Louisa talks to her sister about quitting her job, but her sister tells her that she is going to take admission in college. So now Louisa will have to bear the household expenses as well as the college fees. Defeated, Louisa decides to continue her job. The next day, when Louisa goes to work, she sees that William's girlfriend is now marrying William's best friend. The girl William loved most was leaving him because she was paralyzed. Seeing this, William's mood worsens, and he goes into the room and breaks the photo frame. Louisa doesn't feel good at all after seeing this, so she starts fixing these photo frames, but William takes out all his anger on Louisa. Louisa also does not remain calm, but says angrily, I'm not here because of you, but because of your mother. If she refuses, I will not come here. William also feels quite bad about his behavior and then starts talking nicely to Louisa. When William's mother and trainer see him talking to Louisa, like this, they are overjoyed. All was well between the two when one day when William went for a routine checkup, Louisa learned that William's spine would never heal and he would never be able to walk. Louisa feels very sad to hear this. The next day when Louisa goes to William, she sees that his body is cold. Louisa takes great care of William and even stays there at night to look after him. Louisa sees marks on William's hands, which leads her to learn that William had tried to kill himself several times, but all attempts failed. When Louisa opens William's laptop, she sees videos and photos of William's adventures, and it is here that Louisa learns about William's life. Just then, William's eyes open, and when asked, Louisa tells him that she wanted to become a fashion designer, but it could not happen. On this, William explains to Louisa that Life is given once, live it well. At night, Louisa falls asleep near William's feet while they talk. The next day, Louisa tells William, I saw your photo. You looked very young and handsome, but now you look like the father of many children. At this, William laughs and says, 
What should I do to look young again? Louisa asks him to shave, and then she shaves it herself. When Louisa goes to talk to William's mother, she learns that William is not in good condition. He wants to kill himself. Louisa feels very bad after hearing this, and she discusses this with her sister and tells her about William's condition. On this, Louisa's sister suggests to her that, whatever time he has left, you should be with him and keep him happy it is possible that he may change his decision to kill himself and start a good life. Louisa also likes the idea and the next day she takes William to horse racing. But here William's wheelchair gets stuck. So Louisa asks some boys for help. William's mood gets spoiled due to all this. The next day, Louisa asks William to go to a concert and at her insistence, William agrees. Louisa wears a red dress to go to the concert. Seeing her beauty, William is also completely surprised. Then both of them go to the concert, but they don't enjoy much there so they leave from there and sit in the car and talk to each other and spend some good time. The next day, Louisa invites William to her house for her birthday so that her boyfriend can also meet William. The next day, William goes to Louisa's house and meets all the family members nicely. Then Louisa's boyfriend Patrick also arrives. Afterwards, they all have dinner together and Louisa feeds William with her own hands. Seeing this, Patrick feels very bad and he tries to insult William in conversation, but William remains calm. After cutting the cake, everyone gives gifts to Louisa, and Patrick gives Louisa a locket with his name on it, but William gives her yellow leggings. In fact, some time ago, Louisa had told William that her mother had given her leggings as a child, and after that she never got leggings of the same size. So William remembered her wish and gifted her the same leggings, which Louisa is very happy to see. But Patrick is not happy to see that Louisa liked William's gift more than his gift. The next day, when Louisa goes to work, William shows her Alicia's wedding card and asks her to attend the wedding. Louisa is unable to refuse William and says yes to accompany him. When she gets home, she learns that William has gotten her father a good job at his company, which everyone is very happy about. Now Alicia's wedding day arrives and both of them get ready and go there. William becomes very sad to see Alicia with someone else. Then when everyone starts dancing, Louisa sits on William's lap and both dance together. During this, William tells Louisa that you are the one who makes me feel like getting up in the morning. Hearing these words of William, Louisa says, then we should go to a place where no one else is. Saying this, William comes out with his wheelchair and both of them enjoy a lot. The next day, Louisa visits Patrick to tell him that she cannot come with him for the Christmas holidays this time, but has to go on a trip with William. Patrick gets angry after hearing this. Then Louisa gets a call in which she learns that William is very ill. Louisa immediately goes to the hospital, and Nathan tells her that being out at night made him feel worse, but everything is fine now. Back home, Louisa talks to her sister and tells her that William wants to die but I'm not going to let him die like that, but we're going to take him on a trip where William's mood will get better. Along with Nathan, Doctor also says yes to taking William on the trip. When Louisa gets home, she finds that Patrick has planned a small dinner for her. Here Patrick sees Louisa planning a trip with William and they fight, after which they break up. The next day, Louisa goes on a trip, and here the two spend time on the beach. Then when both are in the room, Louisa kisses William and falls asleep there. After this, when the two are outside, Louisa comes close to William again and kisses him, saying, you change your mind about dying. But William refuses because he is fed up with his life. Hearing this, Louisa says, I love you, I want to be with you, but William still does not change his decision. Louisa cries, I wish I had never met you. Saying this, she leaves from there. Both of them do not talk even on the flight and Louisa ignores William for some time. Louisa's father comes to her and explains that you should have been with her at that time and you have a big heart anyway. Obeying her father, Louisa goes to William where he signs his death papers. Louisa lies down beside William and the two spend time together for the last time. William sees Louisa's face for the last time, kisses her and then dies. At the end, we see Louisa sitting in William's favorite cafe, reading his letter, in which it was written, 
I have put enough money in your account so that you can live your life freely. Louisa becomes emotional after reading this and the story ends here.